may have time to play games, but I've got a job to do. Welcome to the Academy, the only fully accredited, by itself, educational institution dealing with how to play the StarCraft II missions. Today, the Calder missions. Nafash, a brood mother, took part of the swarm to the frozen moon Calder, where she is fighting a Protoss expedition. Nafash's brood had many highly evolved creatures. To reunite the swarm, you will need those adaptations. Let's drop the kids at Brighton and go to Alta. Nafash moved her brood into these ice valleys to fight the Protoss. It is unknown if she will join you willingly. Brave Protoss, slow her down. Take the fight to her. Yeah, good luck with that. Now the main objectives here are to collect the Ursidon Essence as you're walking the little trail to get to this base and then recover this base. And we've done that, we skipped that part for this video. Then once you're here, destroy the Psy Spires. There are three of them and one is showing in green right now. Also there are two areas flashing in yellow. Those are Ursidon Matriarchs. If you dispatch them, you'll get bonus objectives. The Protoss will be vulnerable until it passes. What we've done here is um, left those Protoss to be destroyed by the spine crawler, and this one's probably out of range, so we'll get it and then go up to this base. Nothing stands in my way. Spare no one. No. What I'm showing here has to do with the achievements. The achievements are to complete the mission, to complete it in less than 15 minutes on normal. To complete it and all the objectives in less than 12 minutes on hard and then one objective is to destroy 20 unfrozen enemy structures and that's kind of tricky because it's unfrozen and if the structures are unfrozen the troops are but here if we take out the troops while they're frozen and meanwhile we go back to our base and build it a little bit put a macro hatch in and so forth um, by the time we go back up there, we should see all the troops gone, and then we should be able to destroy the buildings at our leisure while they're unfrozen. As it happens, there's still a zealot, but we can ding the zealot and move on. No escape. Yes. Now a few units have popped, this would probably be a game trigger just as we're taking down the Psy Spire. And there are the other two Psy Spires. Flash Freeze Storm has arrived. Press our advantage. Destroy the Protoss. You know, it might have made more sense at the very beginning of um, the section where we're in this base to send our force up directly to that matriarch on the top and then after taking her out um, drop down during the flash freeze to that first size spire. This is the way you can get there if you thread this route very carefully, avoid especially the base on the left, you can get to her and get a bunch of resources on the way. Unfortunately, when I did send my troops up there, I just clicked on the mini-map, let them run, didn't have them tag the minerals, didn't micro them when they got close to the Ursidons, and only popped up a little late, and that was not as effective as it should have been. Matriarch essence useful. Visibility during flash freeze increased. Out with it. Nothing stands in my way. The swarm hungers. On the way back out, we'll pick up the rest of the minerals. And then we certainly won't engage anything without a flash this freeze. Because the rest of the Protoss space, this is that this area you can rests. skirt through. Oops. Oh. Push ahead. That was unfortunate timing. Okay, so here we're heading up to the other Ursidon. You want to control your troops here. If you um, attack move them, they'll hit things as they go. Just move them directly in here. You can notice those Ursidon, they will either jump off cliffs and get you if you get near them, or they'll go into your base, or they may go into the Protoss base and do things. 
Your Sedan we want are up on the top here, and it's basically the same the drill. Get them. Get the Matriarch especially. If you get toward the back, you'll wake up some Pearl Zerg, and they can help you. Matriarch essence assimilated. Swarm perfectly adapted to fight in flash freeze storms. That's good. We'll be able to see much better in the cold now. Unfortunately, we can't get back in time, so we're just going to leave troops up there, and we're going to rally the rest of our troops that we're producing to our base because we don't want them going through that Protoss area. It happens the Protoss pushed in to try to nail us, and that annoyed our little guys, so they want to kill stuff. So they're going to go out here and get these Ursid on. This is not a bonus objective. There's no Matriarch here. But you can kill them for fun and pick up a couple of more units. And then rally a number of other units over to this area so that they can be closer to the um, two Silent Spires. So there are two groups of forces. Always a good idea. Now with freeze in effect, we're going to send our forces from the plateau, our forces from that little alcove, and then we'll be spawning people in at this um, size spire and take it out. Never you may think, I've got a half a minute, I can get to the other. Well, no, no you can't. Right now we need to find some place to take refuge. You have my attention. And with a few this moments left, we can head in to get that other Silent Spire. It's actually a lot further than it looks. You have to kind of weave through a base. And again, you need to um, move, not attack move, or you'll waste time hitting things as you go. The bases here are actually pretty tight. Little things like Zerglings um, find it easier to get through some of those tight spaces. Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. And that Colossus should have warmed his frozen Tootsies with his Thermal Lance, but now it'll never be able to. So we're not trying to get this uh, mission finished in any kind of speed here. We would need to be faster than this, which wouldn't be very hard to do, actually, to get more achievements. This is just kind of showing you where things are in the map and some things you can do that'll help you with this. We captured a prisoner in the wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. I didn't order you to take prisoners. Abathur requested it. He wants to dissect her. What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. Oh my, look at that smile. That is just creepy. I think she and Abathur are two peas in a pod. I bet they have something going on. And not to be outdone. I have always wished to feel Protoss bones snapping in my claws. May I? No, Zagara. The Protoss still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. They are preparing to send shuttles through their warp network to Shakuris. Now look at that spine crawler there. It's bumper cars here because that spine crawler isn't rooted. Don't overlook that. Be sure to get it rooted. Speak quickly. We need to stop the shuttles here. All of them. There'll be nine waves. Sometimes multiple shovels and shuttles in a wave. Now we've probably sent our troops out away from our base to hit these shuttles out in the waste. Why do we do that? Now you may ask yourself, why don't we just put a field of spore crawlers right by the portals and then no matter what direction the shuttles come in from, the spore crawlers will be right there by the portals and they'll take them down. Well, indeed they would take them down. That's not a bad strategy, except for one thing. When the shuttles get close to the portals, you will see this. This means they're warping out. There's an achievement to stop the shuttles before they warp out, to um, not let them get that far. To do that, you're obviously going to have to take them out further away from the um, portals. That means a mobile force. You will never leave this ball of ice. My queen, the Protoss were gathering biological samples and storing them in these stasis chambers. We'll destroy the chambers and take the biomass if we can. Now, destroying the three stasis chambers is a bonus objective. The primary objectives are to destroy all the Protoss shuttles and not let any of them escape. 
There are also some achievements, completing the missions, not letting a shuttle begin warping out on normal difficulty, destroying two nexuses on normal difficulty, and on a hard difficulty, destroying all three Protoss docking stations. Oh, what's that? Something wicked this way comes. You'll regret that. Yes? All right, Kerrigan, you need to stop messing up here. You can't afford to do this. There you go. Crushing grip stops that thing, kind of jolts it, holds it in place for a moment. Then we can take down that victory fleet. The stasis chambers are flashing in yellow. There's not much time. Let's get this over with. We require more. At this point, we should have actually already moved out, probably taken the expansion and a nearby stasis chamber and maybe some of the nearby small little Protoss areas. You can now see the three areas that shuttles will come to, but not all the areas they will leave from. This is a pretty important little area we're in now. Also, that creep is fairly important. If you want to get back and forth, you need to spread creep. Large quantities of biomass. Good to have. Can use to improve swarm. At this point, though, we're close to that shuttle's portal. portal. We're safe from those ground forces, but if we don't hit that shuttle quickly, it will start warping. So we've got to ignore its escort, hit the shuttle, and then take down its escort. You have my attention. This one's mine. Push ahead. Now, with three hatcheries and some economy going, we ought to be able to expand quickly in terms of our economy. The Protoss are launching shuttles from a new base. Yes. This one's mine. Get the shuttle. Nothing stands in my way. There we go. Out with it. We have Now that carrier will come down quickly because their hulls are just made out of iron pyrite. Note here, two shuttles are coming. We have one force with Kerrigan, and it's going to take down one shuttle. We sure hope. And then over at the other area, we've moved another force, and they're getting distracted by the escort. They need to chase down this shuttle pretty quickly, or we'll be in a world of hurt, because it's about to warp. Come on, guys. And gals. Alright. So we survived the storms that the High Templar had for us here, and we're going to get this other stasis chamber. Another Drop chamber to the back destroyed. to wake up these what little the buddies. Doing with all this biomass? Now we're going across, and we're going to clear this out, and that's important. We could go up the left side... But if we did, and we rallied troops to where we were, we would have them running through this area. We really need to clean this area out. Be helpful to have creep here too. So we have a clear run back and forth across the middle of the map. Now note the path these shuttles are taking. There's an obvious way to deal with these shuttles at this point. And hitting the center of that X is the obvious way. But since we're running a little behind, we'll just hit them one at a time. The 
at that point, we were pretty close to that Protoss base. We could have gone in and taken out that Nexus. Um, but it, it's also possible to go get this other stasis chamber, and then we'll have captured all three. Note that there's a base by that other stasis chamber, so it's harder to take out, much harder to take out than the other two. But once we take out that base, we have another expansion. So here we go, we're getting our bonus objectives. Examine biomass. Consume. Improve swarm. Get an achievement here in a moment. But with only two waves of shuttles coming, we can expect things to get interesting, and they will. Here come two shuttles going different directions. What will we do? Well, we have a large force waiting for one. A small force with Kerrigan waiting for the other. Uh, small force will depend on Kerrigan's abilities, obviously. And then before the last wave comes, we can unify these people up. And get in while we expand for really no purpose other than the general principle of the thing. Matrix. Your forces are nearing the enemy's base. A good old-fashioned knockdown drag out fight to get this other nexus. We're not in this case going after the actual um, launch points because this is more sort of a languid Saturday morning type of game. three shuttles at once. They're bearing toward the same conduit. The Protoss have launched a mothership. They must be using it to cloak shuttles. That one's off to the side a little, so you need to hit it, and then you can move over and hit the next the one. Never rests. Um, just coming on a more conventional track, and then edge to the and side just a bit to hit way. number three. can't afford to let this mothership get too close because the shuttle is cloaked underneath it and if it gets over to warping range you'll have lost that achievement if you're going for it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it! Hooray! Hooray for us! Those are the um, three areas from whence our shuttles are parting. The remains of the Protoss base. That's the last. And the Sarah's statement of the obvious. Our scouts report a large Protoss ship on the other side of the moon. The interstellar ship they used to travel here. It is not yet ready for launch, but it will be before we can get to it. They're tenacious. I'll give them that. But I am ready for this. Tenacious P. The Protoss have launched a vessel from the dark side of the moon. We are still able to sense its presence, but time is running short. One of your ships escaped. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. <laughs> your friends on that ship can sense you. They know they left one behind. No. But they can't warp you to their ship because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil... Look at what a self-satisfied psychopath she is. Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! The Templar must be warned! Now. Listen carefully. This ship contains many dangers. Follow my commands and hide in the shadows. You will consume and grow. 
Infest this ship and kill every last Protoss on board. You don't really have to worry about running for the shadows here. Just start down the way and follow instructions as you go. Just sort of a dungeon crawl. Kitty! So the Protoss think they have a few infested animals. They have no idea. This is a very linear mission. There are a number of objectives, also bonus objective. Basically, you don't need to be listed because all you do in this mission is follow instructions. Do the A, B, Stop C, here. D, this and when you get to the end, you've completed the objectives. Eyes. Evolve. Grow. So the little larva took over that Ursaton and then consumed it and got enough energy to do some evolution. And it's probably fair to say that the Protoss on the ship aren't quite aware that things are going to get as bad as they're about to get. Survive. Now pay attention to that. I always keep track Niagara. of that number because that means you have purpose. some room to build more Spawn units. Initially not many, but as the Adri evolves a lot. Kill them all. In this room, you don't want your Zerglings going after Kill those little specimens creatures. because Niadra needs to get those specimens and um, to, to build up her points. I have grown too large to enter these vents, but my Zerglings will make it through. For the swarm, there, that structure powers the shield. Going to need some more dilithium crystals. I think the Protoss suspect something's wrong now. So, same drill. Neidra is collecting biomass while her forces attack Protoss. We've seen this before and we do this in a number of rooms. She has enough now to evolve. And as long as, um,. Her underlings can hold off the Protoss and she doesn't run into Ripley, she should be okay. tricky thing is sometimes it's easy to miss that door um, and wonder where do we go from here and what you do is you go through that door yeah get the Ursodon now if you look at that Ursodon's health it's not really good if you're not in a hurry you could just hang back in that room and let the Ursodon heal and build up if you're impatient you can do the cool little attack called pounce the ship has taken us as far as it can. Prepare the escape pods. Destroy the pods before they launch. The Protoss must not reach Shakuras. Those escape pods have a timer. On the minimap, they're yellow if you're running against the clock and you need to get them down quickly. They're still green if the timer isn't running yet. The achievements here are to complete the mission, to collect 450 biomass, to not let an escape pod come within 20 seconds of departure, and to kill 15 units with the giant Ursidon. We will not go quietly into that good night. We will never be defeated. We give our lives for the call. Yes. You will. <laughs> and this gets us to the end. The Protoss are no more, my queen.
My queen, can you hear me? We are alone. Oh. The Queen of Blades has given us one purpose. To destroy the Protoss. We will be prepared. We will serve again. Dimensional strings attuned. Hold on, I broke a string.